Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to the bonkers world of Dubious Engineering. Today we are playing with the MicroKorg XL and it's got a few problems. It's got a key that's a little bit cream crackered. We've got wobbly knobs. I hate having a wobbly knob. You know, in general, it is a superb piece of equipment, but the build quality of this compared to the original MicroKorg is just terrible. And yes, I got it cheap on eBay. So let's fix it and let's make it better. It looks beautiful. It has nice aesthetics, but it has some fundamental design flaws. And most of these design flaws we can't overcome, but we are definitely gonna fix this device. And perhaps we can also improve some of the design flaws as well. Let's get the screwdriver out. Let's break it apart. And let's have a look inside this wonderful musical instrument. Now, if you watched my original MicroCorg video, you'll notice that there was one large PCB in there. Whereas with this particular unit, they've split the PCB out. We've got a DSP PCB. We've got a controls PCB. And then we also have an I.O. PCB and and we have a keyboard PCB. So let's have a look at the DSP printed circuit board. Proper old school surface mount technology on here. One of the issues that we face is unfortunately the DC barrel jack. It's split, so we need to find a replacement. So first off, let's go ahead and get the soldering iron out, get the solder sucker out. Oh, it's a sucker for solder. And let's replace that barrel jack. So I dug through some of my stuff and I tried to find a replacement barrel jack. But unfortunately, nothing I had quite had the same pin out. So I'm going to have to order a part specifically. This was an old broken telephone charging PCB. That doesn't fit. And then this is a little audio amplifier. Actually quite a nice audio amp. But again, unfortunately, the pin out's not right. Let's go ahead and buy a proper replacement. Now we have the fun of trying to fix this keyboard. So I nipped down to the shed and I made a lump of aluminium that's about the right size and shape to keep that key stay in position. And ultimately all it does is it just stops the key from springing back too far. By the magic of television, a good 16 hour wait later, and there we have it, a fixed keyboard. That wasn't too bad. JB Weld glue is epic, by the way. I absolutely love it. Now we get onto these potentiometers of these wobbly knobs. So when I was using the synthesizer, the knob would flicker around some of its values. It would jump up and down to various different values. So clearly these knobs had had quite a bit of abuse. So I went onto the uh, RS website and I found some replacements and pretty much direct replacement knobs. So I'm gonna leave you with a little montage of me dubiously replacing these potentiometers. Enjoy, I'll be right back. and salty air, quaint little villages here. 
And in a blink of an eye, <laughs> there, I fixed it. We've replaced the DC barrel jack. We've replaced the potentiometers. And it's time to put everything back together, making sure all of these connectors are seated firmly in place. And all of the cables are routed correctly. And all of the screws are in the appropriate holes. There is one thing, however, that we do need to do. And that is clean up that battery compartment apparently there have been some leaky batteries in there but thankfully it wasn't too bad so a little bit of cleaning juice a little metal brush and some sandpaper and we can finally put all of the thousands of screws that go in that back panel back in place so let's get out the power supply of goodness. I have to show you that twice because I'm still loving the power supply of goodness with the missile switch on it. And let's turn on the Korg. Fingers crossed. Boom! Oh, it looks like it works. And guess what? The potentiometer knobby wobbly things seem to do what they say on the tin as well. Well, we're not finished yet, guys and girls. There's one more thing left to do, and that's build an electric condenser microphone that gives us the ability to be able to use the vocoder in this device. We are the Borg. Resistance is futile. the Borg. A resistance is a futile. Mm -hmm. <laughs>